Lesson 9.5b, Volume of a Trapezoidal Prism. As we've been learning, the formula for the volume of a rectangular prism can be used to find the volume of any prism. The volume V of a prism is the area of its base, B, times its height, H. Knowing how to find the volume of a trapezoidal prism can help us determine how many cubic feet of soil we need for a planter box, or how much water a trough can hold. And we've learned that prisms are named for the polygons that form their bases. In this video, we're focusing on prisms whose bases are quadrilaterals, but not squares or rectangles. So we're going to be looking at trapezoidal prisms, and a trapezoid is a quadrilateral since it has four sides. Here it's telling us to find the volume of the trapezoidal prism, so let's take a look at this diagram. We can see right here in this orange trapezoid, it's got a base of six millimeters, and we have another base up here, the second base. If that's three millimeters, then that's three millimeters. We can also see this B with a little 1 down here and a B with a little 2 down here. A trapezoid has two bases, labeled with subscripts as B sub 1 and B sub 2 to tell the bases apart. So these little numbers, when you see a little number on the lower right hand side like that, they're called subscripts and they help us determine which base is which or which number is which number. So this is base 1 and that's base 2. And the formula to find the base area B is, for a trapezoid, is the base area is equal to half times base sub 1 plus base sub 2 times the height. We add base sub 1 and base sub 2. We add the 6 and the 3 and we get 9. We multiply 9 times the 5 height and get 45. We can multiply that by a half and we get 22 and 5 tenths millimeter square. And because this is area, we're doing it square. It's to the second power, okay? It's showing the area. Now we use the volume of a prism formula to find the volume. Volume is equal to the base area times the height. So we found that the base area of this orange trapezoid was 22 and 5 tenths millimeters square. Now we use the volume of a prism formula and substitute in the values. For the base area of the trapezoid, we have the 22 and 5 tenths, and our height is now going to be this edge here, 9 millimeters. Imagine if we took this prism and stood it up so it looked like this, we'd be using this 9 millimeters as its height, okay? This 5 height was only for the base area of the trapezoid. Now we're using this as the height for our volume of a prism formula. 22 and 5 tenths times 9 is 202 and 5 tenths. Keep in mind when you're multiplying with decimals, if you have one hop in the equation, there's going to be one hop in the product. So we have 202 and 5 tenths millimeters cubed. Because we're doing volume, we now have it cubed. So by standing the prism on a base, we can see we need to multiply the base area B by 9. We substitute the dimensions into the formula to find the volume of this prism is 202 and 5 tenths millimeters cubed. If we double just one of the dimensions, the volume will double. To avoid changing the shape of the trapezoid, we'll double the height, the 9 millimeters, to 18 millimeters. Now, we know our base area was 22 and 5 tenths millimeters squared. Our volume formula is going to change because now our height is doubled, 9, it's going to be 18. We multiply 22 and 5 tenths times 18 and get 405 millimeters cubed. Doubling the height doubled the volume. Doubling all dimensions will make it 8 times greater. We found that in the previous video, didn't we? Just doing one dimension, like the height, will double the volume. We're not doing all the dimensions. We're not cutting the six millimeters in half or doubling it. We're not cutting this in half or doubling it. We're only doing the height, and that's what makes the volume double. 
Now, please be careful. There are two heights in the diagram. There is the height of the trapezoidal base we use to find the base area B, and there is the height of a rectangular face of the prism. So think of it as standing up, and that's what we use to find the volume of the prism. Don't get these confused. This one was for the base area B. This one was for the volume of the prism formula. We're finished with the second part. We're going to move on to the last part of 9.5, and we're going to learn about the volume of a composite solid. The best thing you can do is know the difference between the heights. That one is used for the base area that is in the trapezoid, the other one is used for the volume of a trapezoidal prism, and it runs along the side here. Okay? Have a wonderful day. Keep doing your best, and join me for the last part of the lesson. Bye.